is three hits to the tilt quirk two to quirk one. Dash cancel two hits. Armor move quirk two. You're probably gonna get a wall splat. So you go M three hits to quirk two. He's actually really powerful, but I never see anyone using him online. Like I think I've only ever fought against one Eater, but he's actually so powerful. Like, he has amazing combos, he has really fun stuff, he has high damage. Like that was 11,600 damage for zero dash cancels, <coughs> dash and recovery button. Which actually works like 90% of the time online. It's like, people aren't instantly mashing the recovery button, so you can get this for free. This huge damage, and just for fun guys, I'll end in the plus ultra 3, the team plus ultra, and show you how much damage he can get off of a needless combo into plus ultra 3. While this happens, thanks guys for watching, Eat is really fun, I'm glad you requested him, and I hope you enjoyed the video, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, now let's get into his combos, which I've already shown a bit off already. So, his bread and butter combo that you're going to usually be doing is three hits to the tilt quirk two, to quirk one, dash cancel two hits, armor move, quirk two. You're probably going to get a wall splat, so you go M, three hits, to quirk two. Easy, 11,600 damage. That is really, really strong for one dash cancel. He definitely has above average damage. And seeing as I have the opponent on not doing the instant recovery, you can see that I can get all of that damage. So after I do this, I can just go into it and attack and go into that whole situation again. He would have been wall splat, I would have gotten 11,600 damage again. And I didn't dash cancel once, because he wasn't mashing on the recovery button. If he is recovering, you can either choose to go for the meterless like reset thing with the dash at them, and then do this whole weird situation. Whoa, whoa, stupid wall splat ruined everything. But yeah, if they're recovering, just do a jump, and then you get to go into the combo again. And there's, like, there's practically nothing that they can do. Maybe they can squeeze out a yellow attack, but practically you're like Gran Torino in the air. Like, you can do all these crazy combos. And then even though this was a reset, the total damage would have been the whole 11,600. Actually, it would be even more, because they've done a recovery. So it's going to do, like, oof, without scaling, that's going to be like 15,000 damage for a meterless combo and a reset into the air and with the wall and stuff. So he, he's really crazy. And obviously, if you want to be a bit safer and a bit more, like, generic, you can go for the dash cancel after the tilt quirk one. Just to make sure you get the damage, if you don't want to go for the reset or the, um, take the chance that they're not going to recover, you can do this to dash cancel and mess it up like I did. Oh, but I got a wall splat, so it's fine. And... Sorry guys, but that's like almost his entire combo section. Like that's all I ever do with Eater. Like sometimes obviously I'll change it if I've gotten a red attack. See, even though he recovered there, I just pressed the button, and as soon as he recovered, I was still hitting him, so there's no room for him to do any buttons or anything, so I've just caught him in the air doing resets, doing crazy damage. And I'm sorry to make this a short combo section, guys, but Eater is simple combo-wise, he does huge damage. You always end in his quirk 2, and if you want, you can do his plus ultra 1, just to troll your opponent, get a lot of unbreakable damage, <laughs> like a lot of damage, and then you're in this spastic crazy form, like oh, red move, okay let me go into my quick comedialist crazy combo, would have broken the guard actually. That, yeah. So he's ridiculous, you can go into plus ultra 1, like to just get big chunks of damage. His plus ultra 2 isn't really something that I usually use, because I like to go for dash cancels or plus ultra 1 over the um, plus ultra 2, because he just gets so much damage normally. Like, if you can do this much damage meticulously, or with resets, you can do like 15,000. What is even the point in using your plus ultra 2? He's just so crazy. Um. 
You can combo off of his um, plus ultra one if you have a support like Aizawa or Jiro. Fortunately, I don't have them because I I have the cool team, you know. And talking about supports, they're not really anything that you ever have to use with Peter because he just gets amazing damage on your own. I suppose if you want to be safe, after you do plus ultra um, the tilt work one. You can pull out a support to get an extension that way. You can get a free extension anyways, I don't see why you'd bother wasting the support. Usually I just use my supports as a way of like doing this <laughs> stuff that everyone hates of the red move with the support. And use them for pressure. Or if I'm in the crazy form, I can call them out so they have to deal with my all this crazy pressure. Like I can go into the red attack after my whatever just catch them off guard and do a lot of things, and that's yeah, what I use most of my sports for, and obviously it's really good. But yeah, that's basically Eda in a nutshell, guys. This regular combo does tons of damage, you can choose to use a dash cancel, or you can choose to keep it as a reset, or you can just make it a full combo if your opponent isn't mashing the recovery button, which actually works like 90% of the time online. It's like, people aren't instantly mashing the recovery button, so you can get this for free. This huge damage, and just for fun guys, I'll end in the plus ultra 3, the team plus ultra, and show you how much damage he can get off of a needless combo into plus ultra 3. While this happens, thanks guys for watching, Eat is really fun, I'm glad you requested him, and I hope you enjoyed the video, I'll see you in the next one.